use my badge. How? How? When they say she get it from her mama, mama say you got it right. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know, I am a flight attendant for a very large US based courier. Today, this is the start of a two day. I just got in from Baltimore and I just landed in San Juan. Who would I be if I didn't give y'all a room tour? So let's start. This is the bathroom. And that's me. This is the shower, the door, all of my things. Room. And y'all, it's very rare that we get ocean front so we got a balcony but it's just you know the regular parking lot stuff like that in just a few seconds i'm about to take these you take this uniform off and put on some beach wear and hit outside i'm about to get dressed and then i'm gonna talk to y'all once i'm dressed and show y'all what i got on y'all already seen what i had on in another vlog because i don't buy new stuff for work i wear the same stuff that i already have like that's what we have a washing machine and dryer for. So yeah, judge your mother, not me. Um, this is what I'll be wearing. Let's see if y'all can see it in the mirror. Like just a bathing suit and a bathing suit cover. That's it, that's all. Nothing too special and then some slides. I'm about to head down in a second and meet the crew. I'm pretty sure y'all seen everything that I'm putting on. I'm putting these Javinci slides on with these sunglasses. Just like that. A little lip gloss for the win. And then this purse. Just like this. And we are ready to go. Alright y'all, so I'm not bringing this camera with me at all. I'm gonna vlog off my phone. I got a piece of hair somewhere. And then, yeah, that's it. I will holler at y'all when I get back. Can y'all see me? This lighting is terrible. I'm gonna holler at y'all when I get back inside of this hotel room. Goodbye. You guys, come with me on an AM trip to Puerto Rico. My report time was 8 AM. And if y'all know, then y'all know that 8 AM is a very ungodly hour for me. It's too dang on early. Once I got to the airport parking lot, it Y'all can see I was parked all the way into the bay. Anyway, we got into the airport and it wasn't as crowded as I thought it was going to be. Once I got onto the aircraft, I put all of my bags up and we got this day started. I am in the seat position today, so I have to sit in the eggs row to make sure everyone is willing and able to help out in the emergency and make sure they are old enough to sit there. Once we got in the air, I did a service. People were not real needy today. Most people were asleep because it was still kind of early in the morning. Once we landed, we hurried up and got into the hotel shuttle and got to the hotel. I love this hotel because it has a nice bathroom and it also has a balcony that I really, really like. I quickly changed my clothes and got into an outfit that I know y'all have seen before, okay? So, for work, I don't bring new outfits to judge your mother. Yo, the views was so nice. Once I got down it was some kind of engagement party going on, so it was a little bit crowded. Me and my co-worker, cheers. We had our first drink, and then I had a second drink, and it was really, really, really good, and I was feeling it a little bit. Cheers to good times in Puerto Rico. You heard me. The liquor started getting to me a little bit, so I ordered up a Caesar salad and some fries. Y'all know, the best combo in the world, and I had another drink. The food was so good. Like, the Caesar salad was everything it was supposed to be. It was giving the best Caesar salad ever. After that, I went to the beach for a quick second, and then I brought myself back to the hotel room, and it was time for sleep time. Thank y'all for tuning in. Good night. So we back in the room. I just gave y'all a little TikTok montage type of thing. Reels, shorts, whatever you want to call it. YouTube shorts. I did that because I didn't want to take this downstairs and I didn't have enough like storage in my phone to be doing this and doing this at the same time. So I just gave y'all that. I'm about to be forced to get a new phone. But I need some more storage. Like I got, a girl got content to make, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so we made it here. I just got out the shower and I just finished doing my skincare. And I'm about to just like lay down for real. I gotta be up at like five o'clock. Y'all hear my voice? So like two days ago, three days ago, I had completely no voice, like nothing at all. And then yesterday, it kind of was coming back a little bit. And then today, it's like kind of here. I was kind of scared to come to work today because you, you can get in trouble. This is crazy. But like, 
you can get in trouble for calling out too much, but you can also really get in trouble for coming to work sick. But I sound fine and I feel fine. I just need to get my voice back. I did want to address this question that I keep getting on my Instagram. I mean, on my um, YouTube is how to become a flight attendant. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to briefly talk about it right now, but I am going to make like a real whole YouTube about that. So listen, this is the best advice. And this is the advice that I wish I would have had when I first started flying back in 2017 so if you want to be a flight attendant and you're trying to do this like for the long run i mean like you're trying to do this like as a career like for the rest of your life along with whatever else you're going to do because most of us again most of us have more than one form of income flying is just not the only income but anyway if you're looking for this to be uh like your main career for the rest of your life i would say Go to one of the bigger airlines. There is something called regional airlines, where it's like American Eagle, or Delta Connection, or Express Jet, or Republic, or something like that. Those are all like subsidiaries of the bigger airlines that I just named. I was with Piedmont, which is a subsidiary of American. It's wholly owned by American. We have Envoy, you got PSA, those are three. Um, holy owns by American. If you want to make this a career, do not go to a regional airline. Go to a main carrier. And what I will say is just uh, go right now online, apply to all of them, okay? Most of them have, most of them is going to give you a questionnaire. You're going to get a questionnaire and then you're going to get a video interview. And then after that, you're going to get a face-to-face -face interview. That's usually how most of them work. Some of them, it's just a questionnaire and then a face-to-face. -face. Some of them, it's just a questionnaire and then just a video and that's the interview. It all depends, but usually that's about the process of it all. It can take anywhere from, it took me a year and some change to get where I'm at. The whole process for real. I would say update your resume, have at least some kind of customer service skills, meaning like you worked at a hotel, you were at Demi McDonald's, you was a server at somebody's restaurant, you was a bartender, you did something, hospitality, some kind of something where you was a service to the people. Um, we got retired nurses here, we got police officers, we have, ner we have ambul 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 retired ambul people, we got all types of people that retire and want to come here, and we got young folks that this is just where they started at. You know what I'm saying? So have some kind of customer service. If you don't have any kind of customer service, I would say you have a degree of some sort. It don't matter what in. Just have a degree. And that basically shows them that A, you either got some experience in the customer service or the service world. Or B, you show that you're consistent in something. Which means you got your degree. You was consistent in those years and you made sure you got it. Which means you're going to come here and you're going to be consistent at work. You're not going to like call out. You're not going to like just be a terrible employee. You know what I'm saying? I will go online and just put in airlines that's hiring. Again, don't do regional. If you want to just get your foot in the door, keep applying to the big ones and you can do a regional. But don't be like me and go do the regional not knowing. And I'm trying to tell y'all, but not knowing I stayed at the regional for five years and then came here and basically started over, okay? If I would have knew what I'm telling y'all now, I would have been over here back in 2017. I would have been getting some real paper by now. You know what I'm saying? So, that's all I'm going to say. As far as like a video interview on how to do that, I can't really like show y'all what and how to dress and what to do. I'm going to give a whole video on that. I'm going to do the whole, like, I'm going to give as much advice as I can. All I can say is in a video interview, face-to-face -face interview, make interview make sure your hair is back make sure you wear like natural makeup not nothing too crazy either a new lip lip gloss or red lip um not real real long nails like natural nails at least for the interview you know what i'm saying and uh solid colors like black you know wear a skirt a dress or like a tailored pants suit or something like that you know um i would say also for each company study their um, mission statement know it word for word and study their core values like what like what's the value to them each company is different and I would say take those definitions and incorporate in those definitions into the answers that they ask you or the questions that they ask you my bad incorporate those answers those definitions into the questions that they answer you that they asking you when you answer the question I was just all over the place just now. Don't give up. It took me two times at each airline that I was at, the one before and this current one, 
two times to get to each one. I had to apply twice. I didn't get it on the first try for neither one of them. Okay, so do not feel like, don't get discouraged. Don't get like none of that. Just keep trying, okay? I know a girl that applied to American. I'm not saying do this, but I know a girl that applied to American eight times and she finally got it on her eighth time. I'm not saying to do that, but at least try two or three times. You know what I'm saying? That's all. If y'all got any other questions, just ask. I'm willing to ask. I mean, answer them. And yeah, I'm about to lay down. I will holler at y'all tomorrow. Goodbye, deuces. Good morning, you guys. It's the next morning. It is currently 5.22 in the morning. Ungodly. Today, like I said, we got, we got three three legs today. One to Baltimore, a Syracuse turn, and that is it. Nothing too crazy. I'm not exhausted this morning, but I am tired. I hate mornings, y'all. I hate it. This trip, this little easy two day was definitely worth getting up in the morning, you know? Okay, so yeah, I'm just putting my stuff together. So I have to be downstairs on time. I ain't got too much to say this morning. I'm about to head downstairs and then call it a day. I look so tired, I swear to God, I look tired. I need to make it myself be honest. This is terrible. I look extremely exhausted. Like, yeah, but anyway, y'all. I'm going downstairs. I will probably let y'all meet you. Hey, y'all, so we made it to Baltimore. We got one, we got a turn, a Syracuse turn. It should be just easy. It's 47 minutes. The first flight, this one going, is full. The second one is um, not full, so we should be good. The boy music is on. I don't want to get copyrighted, y'all. So I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Hey y'all, what's going on? What's popping? So I made it into my hotel room. Y'all already know I was supposed to go just do San Juan to Baltimore and then do a Syracuse turn and that's it. So we landed in Syracuse and then we switched pilots. The pilots we came into Syracuse with came to the hotel and then we got some new ones. Now when they get off, they'll get out of the plane and the pilots aren't there yet. The FO is supposed to do a walk around, you know, check the plane, make sure it's not damaged, make sure our bird didn't hit the plane, which had happened, but we didn't know a bird hit the plane. So the new pilots came on and we had already boarded up. So we sat there for like 45 minutes to an hour with the passengers on board. And we trying to figure out like, what we gonna do for us, the bird. The bird did hit the, hit the plane so hard that it caused a little bit of like bending of some, of some 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 parts on the plane so long story short we ended up having a we ended up having to cancel the flight and then as y'all can see now i'm in this hotel in syracuse so i'm about to get undressed and i'm gonna go downstairs and i'm gonna have a glass of wine because i'm not having a good day also on top of that i just realized that i lost my badge which is another thing if y'all notice and like most of my videos most of them i don't wear this badge i keep it in my bag i only pull it out when i'm about to go on to the aircraft or when I'm going through security case here or whatever the case may be. I'm walking up here to my hotel room and I, this is making like a, a lot of noise and usually like because the way my badge is set up on this, it usually don't make this much noise. I'm like, why is this so noisy? This right here is where my badge usually goes on. This was open, badge was gone. So I'm like, bro, I lost my badge. So I'm all going through this hotel room. Like I'm literally like going through the whole hotel room. I mean the whole hotel, like, Re replacing my steps only thing that i haven't re i haven't like gone over is the shuttle that brought us here and they said they're gonna call him and get him to look but he's gonna pick up another another crew right now so i guess i'll find out in a second i hope it's there honestly because if it's not there that's just gonna cause a whole another problem especially when you're trying to go through security and get into an airport you know what i'm saying so i'm very flustered with that i've been up since it was 5 o'clock San Juan time, but that's 4 a.m. Eastern time, which is the time I'm used to being on, and I'm, I'm exhausted. I plan on going home, in my bed, and chill. And now that flight canceled, and I'm got to be forced to stay here because this is not a base, and they got to bring um, maintenance up to, from Baltimore to Syracuse and blah, 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 blah. So, I'm just a little bit irritated, but it's all good. I'm about to go get me some wine and have a little, a little bring me down. Bring me down. And then I'm gonna find out if they found my badge. And then I'm going if they didn't find my badge, I'm gonna call scheduling. And then I'm gonna 
ask them, like, listen, what I got to do so I can be prepared for tomorrow. But here we are. I'm going to give y'all a hotel room. Who would I be if I didn't give y'all one? Let's start off the door. This is like an old timey hotel room. This says to ventilate room you push. This is from the old days or whatever. I'm really not too sure about this, but I do know this is an old hotel. And yeah. Let's see what we have here. This is the closet. Yeah, in the refrigerator, couch, bed, seat, window, TV. Voila. We have a bathroom. And that's me. What's up, y'all? And if we have us a shower and a toilet, y'all know the vibes. But anyway, y'all, I'm just not having. I am not having the greatest day in the world. Things could be worse, but you know, I'm trying not to complain. I cannot believe I lost my badge. Like, bro, that's like my holy girl. My badge, my passport, my work iPad, my watch, and a flashlight. Those are the three. I mean, those are the five necessary things you need to be in compliance to be able to do your work day. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's, it's not, it's not doing good. Anyway, tomorrow we just dead and, and yeah, y'all know. I'll holler at y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all when I get, um, when I, uh, I can't even think straight. Uh, it's just so much going on. I hate when I get like this. Remember when I told y'all when I get real flustered and clustered, like I don't even, I don't vlog. But I'm trying to get out of that and just like really just give y'all the real for what's going on and how I'm feeling. Because right now I'm just feeling like, oh, over the place. Like, how did I lose my badge? How? How? I don't want to see. Anyway, I'm about to change my clothes, let my phone charge, and then I'm going to go hand me a drink or whatever. I okay, y'all. I kind of got my stuff together. I had a little chill session. I had to, you know, lay down and get my stuff together. So I'm about to go downstairs and meet my co-worker, the same co-worker that I was with yesterday. I don't think I showed y'all him, actually. And we're going to have some drinks, some wine. I just got on a hoodie and some leggings. And some socks and some slides. Yeah. It should be good. And do y'all wanna see this hotel? Like it's like y'all won't be wanting to see the hotel. So I'm gonna do my best and like show y'all the hotel. Okay? Let's get to it. Day on my badge. As I was coming out of here, that's why I didn't record too much of this hotel. Um, Scotchman called me and said somebody found my badge, and it was actually the crew that I don't know. I think they got off another plane or something like that, but they found it inside of the shuttle. And Crew Scotchman called me and told me that they got it. And I was trying to get in contact with him, but he won't answer the phone. He won't answer his hotel phone. And yeah, but I called one of his other. I made the front desk call one of his other crewmates. One of his other crew people that he's with, and she confirmed that he got it. And they actually are um, working the flight that I'm dead hitting on tomorrow when I go back to Baltimore. So, I'm going to get my badge because I thought I lost the badge for good. Like, y'all, do you know how stressful that would have been in the morning trying to get through security? Oh, my God. Anyway, I'm kind of at ease. And, yeah. So... I'm about to just chill. I had another Caesar salad and I had sweet potato fries this time. So yeah, I'm trying to get rid of these fries, y'all. I already cut out bread. I'm trying to cut out fries and it's the hardest thing ever. Like it's freaking hard as I don't know what. Hard, 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 hard. I gotta be up at 4.30. So I'm about to chill for the rest of the night and really just relax and get in my bed. I wanna get to the point where I don't have to get up out that bed the rest of the night that's what i want to do so i'm actually about to get in the shower and then just chill because i'm tired as hell so 
yeah that's it i will holla at y'all on the flip side y'all know the drill on the flippy <laughs> bye ground floor Hey y'all, today I am on reserve. I did pick up two reserve days. <clears throat> the time is now, what time is it? It is now 11.37 and as of right now, I think I am number, I'm number two on the list, but I'm only good for two days. So they may or may not use me. While I'm sitting at home on call, I'm about to do some DoorDash because your girl needs some money and I'm not about to just sit in the house and just, I don't know, wait for it to fall in my lap. I'm on call getting paid, so why not go make some money while I'm still getting paid? You feel what I'm saying? So I'm about to go do DoorDash. Also, it's a little bit off topic, but y'all, so y'all already know that I'm like gluten free and I completely cut out bread. So the day before yesterday, I told myself that I'm gonna cut out processed food, which means like fried food or like, um, like mostly french fries. That's what I usually eat the most is french fries i love french fries french fries and bread is like my favorite food and basically i've been cutting out bread for six months now i'm about to cut out these fries and that is going to be a hard thing so what i have here is my lunch which is some salmon that i got from um wagmans it's some salmon it's some teriyaki vegetable it's a teriyaki salmon vegetable bowl that i'm about to eat while i do this door dash um hopefully they don't call me and i just get the door dash for a day that's what the vibes is looking like and y'all know like usually you get paid more money if you do go away because you get per diem but i'm okay with sitting at home just getting paid to sit at home today i'm okay with that because i'm gonna go make some money out here doing door dash so y'all yes y'all know flight attendants always have some kind of second or third or whatever however many sources of income usually flight attendants have two or three other sources of income other than your flight attendant paycheck so that's what i'm heading out to do and I just came in to let y'all know what's going on. Um, I'm on call all day into the night. So I'm just praying that they don't use me. I'm manifesting that they do not use me today. Because I'm really not in the mood to go in to the airport today. And fly anywhere. So yeah. I'm going to be doing DoorDash. I will check in with y'all in a few hours to let y'all know like what's going on. Or yeah. To let y'all know like or maybe, maybe I'll tell y'all how much money I done made in the hours that I've been doing this. Okay. Goodbye. It is now 1.40 and I still have not been called. I've been doing door, door dash all day um, since before noon even started. So I've been doing it for about, what's it, like almost two hours I've been doing it. Um, I'm going to keep going probably till like five, five, six o'clock. If I don't get called, I'm hoping I don't, I don't feel like flying. I already told y'all that. But right now, I'm just getting some gas. I'm at the gas station. One thing I don't like about DoorDash is you cannot do DoorDash and things like where you're doing like uh, delivery gigs because you need to do it in a car that um, is good on gas because it's not going to be worth it if your car not good on gas. And the thing is, my car is good on gas, but then again, it's not at the same time. So it's like, yeah. But I'm going to come and tell y'all what I mean. I'm going to keep it all the way real with y'all. Good, good days sometimes. I got bad days sometimes. So, yeah. Just checking in with y'all. Goodbye. Hey, y'all. So, as you can see, I did end up getting used. It is midnight. I just got into this hotel literally probably 10 minutes ago. And it has been a long day. So, I'm going to toss y'all for a second and I'm going to sleep. Because y'all know I've been up. For a minute, I was in the middle of a door of a dash delivering the order, and they called me just to do one flight to Boston, one, one flight to Boston, and then they head back tomorrow. And I actually, I didn't. They called me around like four something, and I didn't have to be here into the airport until I didn't have to be at the airport until eight fifty at night. So I had some time between. I went home and kind of like chilled out, took my time getting dressed, and I made my way here. I made my way to the airport, and then. Now I'm here. I am exhausted. I'm tired. I'm about to go to sleep. And um, I will talk to y'all tomorrow. On the flip side. When it's time for the dead. Juices. Goodbye. Hey y'all. I'm about to head out downstairs. I'm feeling so under the weather. So I am happy to go home. Um, 
I hope that they don't need me to do anything else for the rest of the day. Again, because I'm on reserve. And when you're on reserve, you got to call when you land to see if they need you to do anything else. And then they'll release you. But I'm feeling so bad. I don't know if something happened between last night and this morning while I was asleep. And I knew it because I didn't get that good of a sleep. Like, my side, everything is all that stuff. You can hear it. So, yeah. I'm going to go downstairs and um, be out. I gotta be down there in a little bit. What time is it? Look at my face. I look sick. This is crazy. I got 10 minutes to be downstairs, y'all. So, I will holler at y'all when I get home or whenever because I'm not feeling good. So, goodbye. guys so i just wanted to come here and tell y'all before i post this video i know i ended off that video and today is what's today's day? today is march 23rd and i just wanted to apologize for not posting a video for so long y'all life be just really life in and i go into these moments of like feeling like a little depressed or i feel like i should be further in life or i feel like um like i should just be doing so much better i could just sit down instead of leaning over like i could be doing so much better and sometimes when i get those feelings i just really get into this like funk of like not wanting to be bothered don't want to post don't want to do nothing and then on top of that i do edit my own videos so editing is a lot um but that's not an excuse for leaving y'all hanging for i think it's been two weeks since I posted the actual video. I did post some some shorts, but it's been like I think two weeks since I posted a video, maybe three. I'm not sure. Matter of fact, let's look real quick because it's probably like it's probably like two weeks and some change, honestly. To be honest, it's been three weeks, so I apologize, y'all. Just don't don't be on my top about it, but. I just go through these moments and I gotta get myself together. I really do be having to get myself together because I be like real like depressed or just in a real bad funk, like just not feeling right. But anyway, yeah, before I exit out this video and officially end it, I just wanted to say that I did, me and my cousin did start a hair business and we are based in Baltimore. Y'all already know that. Um, so, it's called Indulgence Bundles. I will put the Instagram on the side of this page. Ding. I mean, on the side of this video. Ding. <laughs> and you guys, please support me, me and my cousin. This is our first business. This is our first business together. This is our first business in general. So, please support us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. And share it with your mama, your daddy, your sister, your uncle, your ex, your exes, peoples, all that. Share with everybody. And that's the end of it. Deuces.